Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to No Man's Land. Um, yeah, this is the, uh, the Jack Sarge Banished Adventure. Is that what you want to call it? It looks like a no tractor challenge at the minute, but you know. <laughs> uh, money is up and down. So the little area lands at the back of our plot. Uh, I did manage to place two of uh, of Jim's mushroom greenhouses, and then I, I placed uh, a, a water tank thing next to that to increase the capacity of water that it holds. Because only hold like five thousand liters, which is you know it's next to nothing, right? And uh, yeah, they they run out really quick. <coughs> So I've added two, two big water bins um, just to top them up, if you will. And uh, yeah, so overnight we made seven and a half grand. We we made. Where's it gone? We're, we're playing on hard, don't forget. Where's it gone? There it was. There, you plank. 7,692 overnight. Um, and 20, 21, the day before. Well, that ain't bad, is it? Minus production costs, etc, etc. Um, I would like to get some sort of sell point in for the new root crop, fruit, veg, greenhouse things. But at a minute, we've got nowhere to put it. Nobody knows where we are, so not even going to turn up to buy it. But it seems kind of counterproductive. Uh, we're not making a lot from those greenhouses, let's be honest. I mean, if you could stock them up, that would work. Or pop in the production factory to make juices and soups and stuff, then that would work, like I did on Calmlands. Oh, that's dangaroos, that is. <coughs> but yeah, they're all doing their merry thing. Uh, we need to get those trees down. I haven't done any more ploughing. We need to get these trees out of the way before we plough the middle out. Hence the, uh, the winch. I scooch down here. Oh, the wheels keep... I'm not sure if it's the tyres on this truck or, or what it is, but they, they slide really quick. They look quite worn, quite slidey. I don't know. <coughs> so I've got Two of Jim's mushroom greenhouses, which I've you know, squished together to make one long one. So technically the mushrooms should spawn here, but they don't. So I've added this little water tank, and there's another tank this side, which you walk past. There it is. Uh, I did a bit more smoothing on that area there, I think. This is, you know, what it is. Now this area here, you'll notice there's a, a bit missing, and the corner's not smoothed at all. I don't own this area of land. I can't touch it. That's why it looks like it does. And I could smooth this area out, I suppose. Um, this isn't what I had planned for this morning. Smoothing out this. All I can get in and out to top up the water. Be all right. See, that's as far as my controller will let me spin around. Yeah, I need to better fill up the water. But over this way, land's not in by me. Yeah, it. I bring it back a bit. No, but it landscaped it when I placed the greenhouse. Do you know what I mean? Oh, I didn't say I didn't own the land. So now I've got, you know. A little bit of dirt stacked up on matey boy's land that don't belong to me. They made us all the money overnight. The um <coughs> the fruity veg greenhouses didn't make us hardly anything. About grand. So out of the twenty nine the thirty grand twenty nine was from that greenhouse. And the ground was from the greenhouse over here. So, anywho, as you saw, 
we were just down at the store and uh, we got the winch and a bow saw. So I'm hoping some of these little trees I can actually pick up by hand. Now these tiny ones, I don't have to worry about the stumps. Um, because they will actually disappear when you log back in. Don't ask why they do that, they just do. And I'm not going to complain. Now this one, in theory, I should be able to pick up. There we go. Uh, where are we going to dump these bits of stick? We'll get them out of the way so we can get this field ploughed out. Then we need to grab ourselves a... Um, let's put them over here for now. There we go. And then we need to grab ourselves a um, seed drill. Now, I'm actually thinking root veg, because the, the, the harvesters are towable. You see where I'm going with that? If the harvester's towable, I haven't got to buy a harvester. I can just, um, well, tow it. No, I haven't got to buy a combine, I was supposed to have said. I'll still buy a harvester, obviously. You plum. Alright, let's pick that one up. <coughs> but before we do any of that, we need to get this, uh, this plowed out. Let's pop this over here with this one. There it is. The more logs we get out of these, it is to see where I'm putting it up. That's quite a large one there, it's a large one there. Let's get these. Let's get these removed. Oh, as low as I can, because I need to plough over the top. This is going to require the winch. Ooh, he hit me in the face. It's a bit seesawy that one, eh? I'm guessing the end of this is over the... Uh, yeah, it's up in the air, let's... Ooh, and he fell off. Put that away. Oh. <coughs> let's grab this one. Yeah, so at the minute, all the money we're making is from... the mushrooms. So if we leave the little ones over there, we'll stick the larger ones over here, I think. There we go. We might see if we can get some sort of... Um, can I... If I attach this, to this and then chop the tree down will it stay there so that I don't have to worry about um, tree rolling down the hill or will it unhook itself it unhook itself turnips no come back come back um I can't remember what the key combination is. Somebody help me here. Uh, that one. Come back. <laughs> Thank you. It was lucky. I managed to whip that chain around it before it disappeared off into the uh, into the abyss, and we would have been. Um, up a creek without a paddle. I can't get that tough. There it is. Because I, uh, I delimbed it. It's uh, unattached itself again. 
Right, I know it's quite early on in an episode, but uh, I want to get the rest of these trees out and uh, get that ploughed. So, uh, I'm thinking maybe a top a top lapse? Maybe a top lapse. Well, then Dickens is a top lapse. Whatever it is, you're getting one. Have you noticed what I've done here? I've buried my cultivator. <laughs> me, yeah, my subsoiler. Ah, oh, you silly little man. Um, if I take that tree out, I shove it down a bit. Oh, he is going to shut up. Get the rest of these trees out. And, uh... <coughs> Woo! Get that plowed out. See a bit. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really want to hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Wrong and why you never said you felt that way. 
Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. Hello. Welcome back. Uh, no, I haven't finished. Uh, I got a phone call from Sharon. And, um. Yeah. She's got some stuff in the used sale. She'll be keeping an eye out for me. And, um. Yeah, she's got some stuff that's of interest. So we're going to come down here. And, uh. <coughs> we're going to dump this in the trigger here. There we go. Well, I'll just leave it there for a second. Sharon, babes, what you got for me? So, 23 grand for a tractor. Uh, 28 with a three point. I'm thinking just leave it as is for now. I do... Well, I quite like the Vader stuff. Right. 23 grand for that. <coughs> 95 horses, that's big enough for our water trailer and nimbler than what we've got. So we'll grab one of those. Then we've got this field creator. <coughs> Look at that. 23 grand, 6 metres. We can change the colour should we choose to do so. I am not going to bother. I will paint those black because I prefer black. 23.9 for that. And then we're going to sail this back to Sharon. Uh, repair, new paint, we'll sell that, that's 10 grand, and then we'll repair that for two and a half grand, there we go. Do we need to get some diesel for this? Well no, actually, no, it'll be alright for now. It'll be okay. Um, so this is going to jump on the, this to finish off our field creating thing. Now hopefully I'm not an idiot and this definitely is a field creation one. Turn those off, turn that on. Yeah, allow create fields. We're good. So this we're gonna finish creating our fields with. We'll come back for that. <coughs> and then we'll get the uh Actually if we just leave this here for now. There we go. We'll leave that there for a second. We haven't finished creating the fields. We're down 22 grand. We want to make sure that our greenhouses don't run out of water. If they run out of water, we run out of income. So let's get this little... How much was the upgrade? Is it worth the upgrade? That's the question. Um, repair that. It ain't going to cost us much of anything. Not fussed about the front three point at the minute. That's four and a half grand, and it jumps up by ten horses. <coughs> kind of. Um, can we get some wider tyres on this? Because those wheel arches just look stupid with skinny tyres in. Wides and weights three grand. I'm gonna do it. I know I should have purchased that first. I like it. <coughs> This is the baby brother to the uh, 515, isn't it? Or the little sister? The minute you got looking at it. Uh, this does have the option. Excuse me. Needed to cough. I've been almost holding my breath so that I can um, I can record without worrying about you guys being um, bombarded with coughing. So, yeah, that's the option of the front three point. Front three point, front. What's it, what's it called? Front loader. Ah, oh, grab a drink. <coughs> yeah, we can grab a front loader for this. Our first tractor, a Fent Favorite, is at 509. 100 horses. But we actually have a tractor. <coughs> I think 100 horses, that could be man enough to pull the f veg thing. That might even be man enough for the vegetable thing. Oh, would you add them and eve it? Although we're down 20 grand. <coughs> well, 18, 9. So we need to uh, scoosh up there, get the water thing, get the, uh, the, 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 the greenhouses all topped up, especially the mushroom, get them topped up with water. 
We will come back, grab the truck and the uh, well, it's not a subsoil anymore, it's a cultivator. And we'll get the rest of that field drilled. Uh, drilled. Ploughed. Crikey, what's wrong with me today? Right. So you've had a bit of a time lapse already, right? I don't particularly like doing time lapses back to back. I like you know, a, good, a good few ten minutes or so between time lapses if if I need to. Uh, it's two me two meters wider than what we had, <coughs> and I think it travels faster as well. So you know. I know this isn't the uh, the 230 horses of the JCB, but it was you know, a third of the price, so can't complain. It's it's not going to like these hills. I'm hoping it's going to be all right with the uh, the fruit and veg thing, the fruit and veg thing, the uh, carrot planting device. I mean, it's it's making it up the hill. Oh, uh, red lined. <laughs> Third gear, red lined, at nine miles an hour. That's um. That's when you know, when you know that's steep, right? Wow. I'm dreading the um that hill up there. I don't even know what to do with it. I'm not even going to lie to you. I don't know what to do with it. I'm, I'm really tempted to smooth out an area. I'm sliding. Um, I'm really tempted to smooth out a bit of an area and um, just chuck like sheep or something on the side of the mountain. <laughs> I've, I really don't want to farm that. If I can get an area smoothed out, that'd be um, be perfect. Then we just let the sheep roam around. But, you know. Backwards, backwards. That will get. Especially the mushroom one topped up. So this is a lot more nimble I can get. Although it's struggling. Oh no! I didn't do the... I didn't do the upgrade, did I? Oh. My mind's a mile away, guys. No, 100 horses. I didn't upgrade. I didn't upgrade the engine to 105. Maybe I should have done. Oh no! Ah, oh, talking of water and uh, drainage. Not sure if you guys are even remotely interested. Have you seen old Bruce? Drain clean in Australia. That is a man with an iron stomach. And he's funny to go with it. Um, if you're interested in drain clearing and you've got quite a strong tummy, then, um, yeah, go check him out. If, you, if your tummy's a bit on the weaker side of fish, don't, don't watch him. Right, now this should be topping up both of those at the same time. I run out of water. <laughs> but those two extra thingies are linked. I'm not sure how it links, but they link. And um, as a result, you fill up one, you fill up them both. Which is pretty cool, right? I thought this would be a good buy. Sharon thought it'd be okay for us. And I'm regretting it. We need to work out what we're going to do with these bits of stick that's kicking about on those logs. We might have to... Um, we might have to uh, chip them or something. Because we can sell the wood chips, right? It's easier to transport wood chips and logs. <coughs> it's a Vermeer 
little chipper thing that we can pop on the back of the tractor and hopefully just spray them straight into the trailer. If that is the case, we could do that and sell the chips. Hmm. That'll get him out of the way. I don't think there's any rules regarding leasing stuff. I can't remember. I don't think there is. Um. Oh, just hit me bucket. You see that? Oh, no. That's catching me drips. Although it seems to have overflowed and piffed everywhere. So that should then pick up this one. Are they both full now? That one's full, that one isn't. So the barrels are full, the uh, the extra butts, they're full. That greenhouse has now got water in as well, so that... And this one should be empty, there we go. So that's got 42, that's got 44, they hold 5,000 litres. You see how that worked? So the new bins somehow, underground plumbing let's call it, they're li linked, which is pretty cool. Fill up one, fill up them both. Now, if you remember, remember, if you remember, if you remember when I was on here before, my cows, cows galore, and I lost everything because the Xbox is rubbish. Um, <laughs> it's not, it had a freak out. I've had no issues with it except on this game. Um, all the same. I had the, 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 the greenhouse. No, I didn't. I had a garden centre down by the store. And in that garden centre, I had the greenhouses for mushrooms and uh, flowers. And uh, <coughs> I had a load of those bins. So what I did was I drove in the gap between them all and literally catched the first trigger for the first one and it would fill them all up. I wouldn't have to drive around every single one. Uh, the greenhouses in that garden centre never had any water in them. It was only ever the bins. So, you know, small things. I'm regretting putting them all the way down here as well. It's a bit of a pain in the bum, isn't it? A lot of driving to go absolutely nowhere. There you go, that's that. Come around and do this one again. Bit of a bump on here, and then look at that. Look. I can't smooth it out, that's the problem. I might chuck the rest of this in Obertana's taters. No, that's only a little four cylinder tractor, 100 horses, and look at the. Uh, the inclines it's working with. It's doing well, but uh, yeah. Larger tractors are probably on the cards. Whoa, get down there. I'm gonna fall down the bank, do I? Let's get this one in there. I haven't even checked the other greenhouses. Let's have a quick look. They're all topped up now. Watermelon's still got 8,000. This is now full again. And then the... Where's the other one gone? Here. Yeah. Still got the 9,000 litres of water in that one. So also drive by, you give them a top up. As we've got water left in here anyway. There you go, that's that one. And then we'll get this one topped up. All full. <coughs> yeah, we definitely need some sort of... Um, Some sort of sell point for those veg.
Also, all that hit, it won't go backwards anymore. Our first trailer, guys. First trailer. So that's 100 horses. Let's have a quick look. Anything else popped up in the sails? No. That was there yesterday, stylish folk. Let's jump to here and we want vegetables. There we go. 50 horses. It's not very big, though, is it? What's that? Three meters. That's six. And then we'll grab, at some point, we'll grab that one. Because it harvests and picks up and stores all in the same machine. Ha <laughs> ha! I ain't got to try and pick it up twice. So we'll probably end up with one of these, 12 grand. Actually, if we grab one of those now, we can get the worker going with the um, tractor while I finish cultivating the rest of the field. What do you reckon, guys? Doesn't hold a lot, but at least we get a crop in the ground. Can I actually plant carrots, beets, or do hickeys today? Um, I can't remember. I don't generally. Oh no! I can't plant any of that till April. So wheat or barley? Turnips. That's not going to work, is it? Oh no. What are we going to do, guys? Do I want... Oh, I do want that one. I'll have to grab one of these kittens of some descript. I mean, that looks pretty cool, but too many horses. <coughs> That'll be right on the money, and I don't think I want to get that through the gate. That leaves us with that one. Oh, that's three metres, ten grand. Could do some wheat or barley with that, I suppose. You grab that. We take this tiny horsepower, don't we? Tiny, tiny horsepower. Little three meter Amazon. I mean, it'll, it'll be you know, starting equipment, it's not our forever equipment, you know what I mean? Do you think it'll be better pull that? I don't think that's. Don't quite think that our tractor is going to pull that. Uh, we've got that one. We could cast stuff. Couldn't we? We could just cast it. Decent working with as well. Do you have never done that? I've never casted seed. Say five grand. We just get one of those. That says fertiliser, so maybe not. We'll get that one. Five grand. If we get that, listen. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'll get the truck. And I'll get that ploughed out. And I'll see you guys in a minute. Welcome back. So. Got that field... All cultivated. Um, looks a bit odd because half the field's ploughed and half the field is cultivated, but what are you gonna do? <coughs> we have all crumbles. There's a bump and half there. Yes, yeah, move that out. Give me a shovel out. Chip away at that edge. Um, but we have a field. So that's the main thing, right? We have a field. This is the biggest tractor we've got, if you can call it a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah all ploughed out and in fairness it's a fair old size I, I didn't think it would be quite as big um but you know what are you gonna do 
Now, I'm thinking we're definitely going to get sheep and dump them up there, somehow, somewhere. Um, let me move my mic a little bit. There we go. <coughs> so what I'm thinking is, mower. Mow the grass, and so we can bale it. Yeah, you heard me. We're going to mow and bale the grass on the side of that. I'm blooming bonkers. The other choice would be to chip these. Get rid of them. Make a few quid. Um, I did look in here and the uh, thing. I got the... um. Got quite a few things on here. I've got the, the, the platinum stuff and all that. So that, 130 grand, makes paper. Um, we just chuck the trees in, but we're not doing, you know, two tonne of forestry. That's not an option. Well, it, well, it is, but it's, 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 it's not happening. Um, so I don't really fancy going down that route. Uh, then you've got the coal factory. Now, this is 45 grand. But the coal is worth a pretty penny. And we don't have enough for that. But that would fit like nicely in here. Do you know what I mean? Let that do its thing. And then we could use the coal for our open fire. You get me. That's 45 grand. We bung the trees in, make money. Um, oh, I think I've got the stationary chipper thing in here somewhere. I'm sure I have. Um, that's taters. That's a corn dryer. This guy, 25 grand, still ain't got enough for that. And then we could chip and just sell. Evil. So, this is. Excuse me, there's no way we're going to be able to farm on here. Is there? What do you guys reckon? Do there's any way of farming on this area of land? Um, if we owned more of the top, we could probably you know, come round and build a field up here. Do you know what I mean? We could build up on the top of the field. Uh, where's the end of our land? It's about here, isn't it? The gate's there. So if I run this way, so it'll be along here. <coughs> and then up this way. You'd build a decent field up there, couldn't you? And it's, this plot's not quite so bad, is it? So that's plot eight. Doesn't look well. I say it's not so bad. There's more of an incline and less of a drop. <sighs> um, don't think you can get some sheep, but this is where the problem resides. So, if we go back to animals and sheep, this one, the. Uh, I could chuck it right at the top and I could sort of hang over the edge like mountain goats but that doesn't mean we've got to drive up there's only 100 quid you can't complain at 100 quid can you eh or we put it at the bottom and they run up the hill What do you reckon? There are certain places it's so steep that you can't even place it. <clears throat> well, we've got something like this one. This one would be ideal, right at the top, loads of space. 
But because those poles are nowhere near the dirt, when you fold them in, they don't disappear. They just sort of hang out uh, up there in the sky looking stupid. So that ain't going to work. Let's move to back to this one. I don't think I've got anything else we could place down up there. Um, don't look like it. Grab a couple of pigs and stick them halfway up the hill, I suppose. It's kind of pointless. Um, small pig barn. Don't think I've got much of anything for in the way of pigs. Well, I have just. That's twelve grand. Where, where's our... Over this way. We never eat anything, won't they, pigs? It's a large area and not a lot of animal. Do you know what I mean? Let's we have something like that and then just, you know, create a divot in a road leading up to it. bit like what's happened here. So we just create a little outcrop f to put our placeables on. But I was thinking sheep. And uh yes. Oh, oh we got on the horses. I don't normally do horses. Horses don't make you any money off the bat though, do they? Cows on the other hand. Cows will make you a cut of quid. Does that produce milk? I don't know if that oh, I've got to put the put the zone markers on, Phil, put the zone markers on. Uh, not that one, that one. Does that do um Oh crikey. Oh yeah. Oh, it does. Oh, it looks like it does. 100 quid. We get some cows on the go. Get some milk for my tea. 25 cows. Where should we put those? Let's pop. <coughs> Excuse me. Can't put place their defences too on the piff. I just dump that one in there. Like that. That's um those poor cows. We can put another one next to it. That's hit the tree, that ain't gonna blink and work unless we get rid of the tree. Is that literally on the tree? Cannot place fence here. Cannot place fence here. Why can't we place the fence? I think it's just too steep, isn't it? Can we get those to line up? We can get that to line up, we can get two in the same place. <laughs> I don't think it's quite the same, is it, all the way around? Hmm. Not quite. Right, let's run back. We've got 20 grand left in the bank. We've got water, so water in for the 
things we can do water um, let's quickly um, paint some mud on here just to um, there we go that'll work and then we want just dirt And just sort of run up and around and down just to simulate you know that we're actually driving up and down better can I get rid of that tree that bush uh, that's annoying when you get the uh, the old bushes and uh, you take the bush out which is fine and then you work out that there's there's no ground underneath the bush that's propped up with the front of the fence, you see that? The fence is holding that up. That's where it leaks. <coughs> Holds 25. <coughs> right. So they need hay or TMR or, or, or something, right? So let's see what we got on the mowers. Um, that's 80 horses. Don't you normally use that sort of thing, you know? I haven't used that in a hell of a long time. 16 grand. And we're going to need a windrower. And we're going to need a baler. That's 15 grand, 3 meters. Uh, that's 3.4 tons, that's 1.1 ton, that's tiny. In Fifteen grand, three meters. What was the uh, four point? That's going to be too big for our little tractor, isn't it? Fifteen grand, six meters, but that's heavy. We've only got a little little thing that's only 85 horses for that 4 meters that's all our money though isn't it um top let's just have a let's just have a, let's have a, let's have a shifty because you know I can classic fence No, that doesn't look right. That should be red. Top. Hmm. 21 grand for that. I think we're going to grab this. We change the colour of that. It's small, it's tiny, it's 15 grand. Not planting anything in that field until um thing. And put out the tractor. Oh, you know what, let's just grab this. We're down to four grand. We're going to have to use the, the truck. There's no way the, uh, the dual tractor is coping with that. Where is the truck? Right, I'll go grab that. And uh, I'll see you when I get back. Give me two seconds. There we go. Didn't take five seconds, did I? Struggling on this hill with this mower. I'm thinking this might be a bad idea. I should have just bought bales. <laughs> that might not have been a bad idea, just buy a couple of bales. 
Oh, excuse me. We can't afford a windrower. We can't afford the baler. Uh. Right, let's let's start here. We'll drop that down. We'll do a little bit of a. Let's go the other way. I really want to be. Uh, Can I mow up here? This will be the, the, the test and half this will, won't it? If we can mow uphill, we know that we can uh, do other things with said truck. As soon as it is pulling it, there's a lot of wheel spin, but it seems to be pulling it. Not very quick mind <coughs> but pulling it I mean this will grow back this looks so dangerous doesn't it eh Jack Sarge what were you thinking mate this is horrendous. I'm scared. Whoa, I'm on the brakes, I'm on the brakes. And I'm still sliding down a hill. I'm on the brakes. I've got to get a baler up there and a wind rower. Wow. This is, uh, <coughs> this is something. <laughs> Jack Sarge, mate, what were you thinking? It's, it's, it's definitely a challenge. I can get another headland in. I can then just do widthways across the mountain rather than up and down if I can even get up the mountain that is is it a mountain? mountains are rocky aren't they? I don't know anyway guys I'm going to get this cut and uh, I'll see you in the next episode this one's run for way too long so I'm going to get this all, all mowed in the next episode we'll work out how we're going to get a wind rower and a baler with no money um we might have to sleep through till October I'll just keep everything topped up selling my mushrooms and stuff <coughs> just so we have enough money to buy the rest of the equipment that we need and then we'll grab some cows October time so, in the meanwhile, I'm going to crack on with this, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Each and every one of you, please take care, and I'll see you all in my next adventure. Cheers, guys.